there's a gas that, that comes out to cool it so that so you can so you can touch it with your hands. So the thermal web, um, the other advantage to it is that it allows when the pipes connect together, insulation to touch insulation. What happens if you cap the ends with metal and you have another pipe with a metal end capped onto it, as the flu heats up, um, the, the joint where the two pipes meet together actually will get hot. It doesn't allow the transfer of heat from one pipe section to another. It's especially true if there's a small creosote fire. It's going to heat up one section of pipe right at the joint and uh, you'll, you'll get a, a hot spot in the pipe, maybe some buckling on the inside of the pipe. But with the thermal web and insulation on insulation, it allows the pipe to heat evenly throughout the whole chimney system. This is what we call our end form. The big deal with this is it's got inner and outer tooling. So there's your inner tooling, here's the outer. So when this goes in, this actually pushes in and this separates. So it expands it and kind of contracts it at the same time. But the big deal with it is it makes each end perfect. Every pipe they do is going to be identical. The old way of doing this, and a lot of people still do it this way, all you have is this. A tapered shaft comes up and it's controlled by a foot pedal and you hit the foot pedal. As that shaft comes up, this expands out. But it only has it on the inner. So depending on the operator and what they're going to do is they're going to put it on and they're going to turn it as it goes. Every pipe could be a little different. This takes the, the operator out of the equation and so it makes them all identical. So that's what's critical. The reason why a lot of people don't do this is the tooling for these machines is very expensive. So the amount of tooling we have um, is probably double the price of the machine. You have four pipes fitting together. Right. Every time you put a male and female together. So if you have any inconsistencies there, you got trouble. So that's why you have to have an inner outer tooling for end forming. So you got two machines going at the same time. Right? Yeah. So they're both doing the same job. One does one end, one does the other end. Everything's gonna fit just perfect every time. They'll always fit right then. Flex very easily. No memory. None. <laughs> See how it doesn't want to spring back. So now, when I uncoil this, it just simply straightens right out. And now I can bring it right down the chimney. Yeah. But the one thing about Armor Flex was that it was very heavy. See, it was nice to use. It was really strong, and smooth wall inside. The problem is, I take a six by twenty-five. I could barely carry it up on the roof. Yeah. So when we we made hybrid, it's thirty percent light. So if it's cut, if it's if it's weighing me, you know, eighty pounds, I would. 75 pounds, now it's only 50. Big difference. Big difference. So the hybrid, and that's what this is. So it's still a real strong pipe. Flexes like crazy. There's no memory. And that's why this, a lot of people will upsell and say, instead of, this is what my competition uses, but they'll bring a sample piece like this and say, this is what I use. See the difference? The way we have to do it to maintain the listing is, because there's going to be a seam, you have to overlap the seam, okay. and then he uses foil tape and he smooths it. He puts the foil tape on, then he takes the roller and he rolls over it to get it smooth. Mm. That way it won't come up, and then this shell is just slid over it. So it goes through five stations here. And then it, it basically comes out of the roll form like that. And then just simply, it's, it's, it's creased into one another. So every time that thing spins, you're gaining that much pipe. You see the size of that? Yeah. Gaining that much pipe. So just sit there and grow. So, so this is running now armor flex. Some people still want the heavy pipe. They still like it to be that real stout heavy pipe. All right. So we still have to make. It doesn't have a better warranty, it doesn't have a better listing. Everything's the same except they just want it heavy.